okay. Can everybody hear me? Uh, only one good thing today. One is all we need, luckily. Uh, no on BA and no on everything else. Any quick last minute questions here? Jairo, did you have anything that you were looking at to the upside? Zen Traders Alive, that's good to know. All right, let's see what we get. I think we're in and out quick today. Market's a crapshoot today and tomorrow. Again, summit going on, gapping up today, but don't have a lot of conviction that we're gonna go anywhere with it. We were down earlier. I mean, market's just a mess. So let's stick with specific things like we do. And we will see what we get here. If this doesn't work out, I don't have anything else. If this doesn't set up, mm -hmm. I'm up for any other ideas. But everything everybody put in the room, I didn't like. But if this doesn't, if this doesn't actually set up to do, then I don't have anything else. Well, this is not what I want it to be doing. that pull has no volume. I mean, like negative volume. <clears throat> okay, not that we're anxious here because this isn't really looking the way I want it to, but. Again, this looks very strange like the other one, but based on the volume, I mean, it's clearly open, but this reminds me of yesterday's, doesn't it? This looks exactly, I know, I was just thinking of the same thing, Jackie. This looks exactly, exactly, exactly like that. No, nope, I don't like this. You're on your own if you do it. Not for me. Yeah, this looks, ex yeah, there it is. This is the open. Yep, look at that. Unbelievable, just like yesterday's. Here it goes. And this is the open here. It wasn't there. Yep. All right. Let's see what we can do here. 89 by 65. 89 by 65. 89 by 65. Tag. And the thing is, I mean, there's nothing we can do when they open late. Nothing. I was thinking the exact same thing as Jackie. 89 by 65 is valid. I do not. Jump the gun on this. It's definitely open now. Wow. We were all thinking the same thing. But if we had done it, you know, it's like, but still, you don't know. We can do 99, but I don't know if that's going to hit here. There, do it. Do it right now. There, get it in and get the stop in right now. That's it. This is it. Wow. <gasps> don't worry about where you got filled either. You got to have gotten it. Wow, this is moving fast now. 65 is a stop. Not that it's going to matter. We're going to be out of this soon. 26 is the first target. 26.40, 26.50, $26. $26. Here, I hope everybody got it. And, and I said to take it before even 90. That was a good decision. You had to, you had to do it. You had to do it. All right, let's just take here a look at the market. Market, 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 market. All right. All right, let's get back to the CAG. Here, 
All right, hope everybody got it. You had ample time though, because I had said originally a previous number. So you had, you had ample time to do it. Um, now what? Well, let's see. Great call. I said, don't worry about that, Brent. And but if you did, and this is just you know FYI for the future, if you if you get a fill that you're uncomfortable with the risk, it's not going to matter in this case because this is still going. But what you could do is take some out quick, because you were up right away. So you could have just shaved some off really quick and get the stop back in for the rest. So you can do that if that ever happens. There's nothing you can do. We would have gotten a worse fill if we waited to 90, and then I said 99. Luckily. And this is very jumpy, very jumpy. Almost so jumpy that I can't look off of it. Do, 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 do. So waiting to see what happens with this, we have to stop at the right place. Did anyone get out? I mean, you would have had to actually react pretty fast to get out. It was almost like you would have had to take it and get out right away. We could have done that. That broke pretty hard. I think I think 26 is doable, but I guess we're gonna find out here. Shoot, great entry though. We couldn't have gotten any better. This was not open till here, just like the other one the other day, just like the other one. But if we had done it, actually, I mean, we would have gotten a better price, but just like the other one. But it was like, I was like, wait a minute, is this open? And it looked like it was with the volume, but then it wasn't. Here we go, CAD, let's pay, pay attention now, everybody. This is it, we're gonna get this down. Market again is a crapshoot, it's green right now. Not holding trades long, June, summer, holiday next week. We got a good one, this is the only thing, it worked out, I was perfect. Here we go, CAD. Let's see if it breaks 50. Ooh, I just saw an invisible tick. Ooh, I just saw an invisible tick. 52. Mm. Gosh, I want to look at some other things and I can't. Fifty-two. All right, here's doing what? Koala bear probably got out of at least half, I'm guessing. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna be stuck in this now. Oh, you didn't. Usually you do. Well, maybe we'll get a reset up in this to take more or lower the stop or something here. Let's, I mean, you know, let's find out. I did not get out of any there in the 50s because it really looked like it was gonna break 50. And you see how this is bouncing back. Time today is still really early here, but this is really wild. I don't like WBA, I've said it now 55 times. I can't say it anymore. I do not like this trade. I do not like this gap. It's not good. It's rallying with the market. You are totally on your own if you do this. We didn't miss anything here. Move 50 cents and the stop was $1.50. This is better. Here we go. Stick with the CAG or you could have been out of it. This has got to be it for it here though in the next five minutes. Wow, you did not, you weren't fast at all then. Because I, I moved, I said 99. And then before I said 90, Brent, you did not get it in the right minute. You could, I mean, I don't know what to tell you then. I, I have no idea what to tell you. You're, you're, I don't know then. Just make sure you have to stop at the right place. I have to be a little patient here now. Just for a few more minutes. Again, this market is very sketchy to me and just lack of follow through yesterday. If we don't have follow through today, that won't be good either. Uh, SPY is trying to lift, but it's not really going anywhere. Let's take a look at this. This is red falling. Wow, this could really fall off the planet.
Brent, do you use hotkeys? I know some of you do, and I know some of you do not. And I definitely think it's important to use hotkeys. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is why the Dow is down, BA. All right, let me just look at a couple things here. I'm taking off the, the picture. We're in CAG. If there's nothing else to do, just let CAG fall. Um, I just want to see something here. 9.39. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. 10 o'clock, we have a number. 10.30, we have a number. 10 o'clock and 10.30. Is today the 27th? The 27th. Hold on, I'm looking at some things, people. Okay, here goes, here goes the CAG. Let it rock and roll. Sorry, I'm just checking out some things here about some options, uh, which I may decide to do here. What is today? Next Friday is the 5th. Gosh, I need a calendar. 5 plus 2 is 12. Let me just look here. Two and a half weeks. Seems like a long time. Let CAG drop. There's nothing we can do with it. This has got to go right now, though, and break that 52. Trying to look at some options here. You could be out of the CAG if you want. It didn't break 52. I'm going to try to give it some more time. I think that it does. Those of you in the options letter, check your email. And I am going to try to wait for 15 more minutes on this CAG. I think we can get this down. We have the market with us at the moment. Uh, 712 is so far away though. Here, CAG! Here it is right now, people! Gosh, I can only do so many things at one time. Here it is. Gosh. 25. Hand on the button, everybody, CAG! Oh, come on. Keep going. Gosh, darn it. Nope. Didn't keep going there. Hold on, I wanna do one more option here. I'm gonna get it out. There's two letters coming. Just whatever you wanna do with the CAG, you can be out of it. But I actually think that there is more room to go on the CAG. Oh my gosh, yep. It's like, how many things could I do at one time? It's like yesterday. They called me to be on TV an hour and 20 minutes. An hour and 20 minutes before the show was live, before I was gonna be on. Here's the CAG, it's looking good. It's trying to break 26.23. And Brent, because you had such a horrible fill, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get out early? Are you going to hold it? Uh, 
on, I just have to get this one other thing out, everybody, and then we'll watch this. All right, Brent got out. Oh, you got out of half. All right, here we go. CAG, pushing, pushing, pushing. Nice call, nice trade. On point here today, people, in the week before holiday. I mean, really thrilled, really happy. 23, 25, hand to the button here. One more push and we're out of the CAG. Let's see if we can get it done in 26. Nice call. 944. Uh, I bet this goes to 25 something now that I'm seeing it. I mean, 25 something something, but I don't, I don't, I can't see how we're still in it till then, unless it goes straight down. This has been so herky jerky. But at the end of the day, um, it's been really a lot to do. Here, CAG! Man, why is this just going to sell off? Every time it goes down, it bounces back. That's really annoying. 26.20. It goes 5 cents and it moves back 10 cents. It goes 3 cents and it moves back 5 cents. I do not want to be in this through a bounce. Hand in the button here. Here, CAG. Here it goes. Out, 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 out. Can't take it anymore. Great train. 15 cents from the target. Done. Don't want to sit through a bounce. This could very well bounce into 10 o'clock, and I do not want to deal with that. I just don't. If you're still in it, you could be in half. You could be in the whole thing. I do think it has a 2-5 boom, boom, boom. Here it goes right now. Here it goes right now. Don't let this get away from you, though, for sure. In fact, you could put a stop at 26.21. You could bar by bar it. I think this has a 2.5 in front of it today at some point, but I can't guarantee you that'll be in the morning. I can't guarantee you the time of the day. I can't tell you that. Here, it's trying to get to 26 if anyone's still in it. Oh, it's trying. Great job, everybody. Great job. Done with that, but if you're still in it, it's still going. Um, what's happening with this? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing in the world. Okay. All right. Just checking everything out. Great job. Is anyone still in CAG? Or did everybody get out? Jackie got out. I remember those of you in the option letter, uh, two were sent. It's like juggling act. Juggling in the world. All right, what's everyone doing? <gasps> CAG is still going. I absolutely believe CAG breaks $26 today. I just didn't know it would be this morning. And this was that was a nice move in there. We caught it, I mean, just at the right time. I know, and once this bounces back, it's not that it doesn't keep going in the day, but it'll have like a 60 cent bounce. And I was like, screw this. It was so bouncy. And it's a, just, I don't know why. Just was. If you're in this, I would bar by bar it. Great call. Only thing I liked and it works. Love when that happens. Um, any questions? Let's take a look at the Mew. Did not like Mew for anything today, but... And didn't call any options in this because I don't think this is a good long-term trade. Mew was nice yesterday. Worked out gorgeous. And actually, if you held it for the move over the high and did the ad, it was a fantastic trade. Hector, I don't really understand what you did with this. But, I mean, no matter what your price was in this, you should have gotten a minimum of $0.90 cents if you held it over the high. Now, if you got out just to get 1R, well, then you didn't and didn't do the ad. Then, then I can see then maybe it didn't work out with the BYND. And which basically BYND then yesterday did flip around, did reset up. 
uh, you know, this is very wild. So, not sure what everybody did with this option. If everybody's still in, if everybody got out of it, I don't know. I mean, this I thought would go yesterday full on, and it did go through both the strikes. Market is just going to try, but we have the number out of 10. We have the number out of 1030. And let's just look at everything the banks. Any questions? Where did this go? 2606 people and here's the bounce back and it's going to be big and again this doesn't mean that this is done for the day but it means it's done for the morning jackie got out of one option held the other yeah i think that that was a good i don't think holding both would have been a good decision because i mean again these conditions this market i talked about in the webinar last night take your profits take some or all don't hold everything all full on 100% all the time it's just not a good idea Galahad you probably should have got out of one of those just based on the fact that it expires tomorrow you know oh you only got one all right well then that's fine um any questions from anyone about anything Well, too short of a time for you, but not too short of a time for me. So you make your own decision if you want to change the expiration date and pay up. But really, a gap like that yesterday should have gone. So that's the way I was looking at it. Um, let's see what else is happening here. Numbers out in 10 minutes. We can wait for that. I'm not doing anything else today. Any questions? Tonight is Nike. So Nike is a big one tonight. I'll take a look at that chart right now. Campus tonight. Um, I, I, I really, I mean, I just don't know what we're going to do with Nike, but it's the only thing that I could see that would be even remotely interesting tomorrow. JKS is tomorrow morning, STZ, but really Nike is the one that, I don't know what it does, but it's the only one I'd be remotely interested in. Well, let's take a look at it. VC, I see that you emailed me back. I have an options newsletter. It's $49.99 a year. It's five grand for the year. If you don't want a day trade, you can sign up for the options newsletter. It's five grand for one year's worth of trades. And well worth it. Although next week, people, I'm taking off. I may call some things next week if I feel like they are amazing. But I don't know. I will tell you with the summit coming up, there could be some trades in the market. There could be. Um, if there are, I'll feel the need to call them. If they're good, then they're probably going to be big. So I'm not, like, sure exactly here what I want to do tomorrow into the weekend, if anything. But I'll think about that tomorrow. Today, today we just got the two. Nike is very interesting. I think it's going to be in play either way. So... I'll watch it. Everyone should have made money on the CAG. Any questions? So I think CAG breaks 26 dollars today, but I don't know when, I don't know what time, and I didn't want to sit through a bounce. Actually, this was a small bounce, considering I thought it could be a bigger one. Well, it was about 40 some cents. Really too much to give away when you're trying to get something and get it in and out of it early. Morali made $214 today in CAG. Thank you. Um, even though you were going on and on and on and on about shop, Morali, what you said in the email to me was nice about what I said about the market. 
In fact, let me pull that up. I'll have to stick that in one of the emails today. What did you say? You kept going on and on about sh shop for some reason. Um, where was that email from you? We'll look at your shop today. I don't have the charts up. Hold on one second, people. Shop is rallying today, but I wouldn't go long it. Um, what did you say? What I say in the first few minutes every morning is pretty much set in stone. Yep. That is an accurate statement. My webinar was awesome. Thank you. And I had a great spot on Convino. I did. I did. Considering they called me and I ran out of my apartment without my hair and makeup done and only in a dress and went, I did do great. I was very strong with the other people, with the other two men. I would I would I would have liked to talk more. I think this segment was cut a little bit short because the uh, the other guy was on the phone calling in. I t what was really funny though is when Neil was like, "Oh, on the fly," and then after we were off the air, I said, "Neil, you're good on the fly. If you're on live TV, you got to be good on the fly. The most successful people who are on live television are, are good on the fly. If you're not good on the fly, how on the earth can you do live TV? So Neil's good at being on the fly. Charles is good at being on the fly. Not every anchor is good at being on the fly. The most successful television anchors are good on the fly. I'm good on the fly. I'm great on the fly. I've been on the fly sometimes with anchors, like when they've made a flub. So <clears throat> it's good to be on the fly, but you definitely have to be on top of things. So. A lot of people have a difficult time being on the fly. On the fly is good. That's probably one of the reasons I'm so good at, at, at trading in the market too. Because this is like immediate decisions here right now. Take it or not take it. Do it or not do it. Boom. On the fly. But I mean I preset that I like this. But I mean you never know until, it, until, it, until, the live, until we open. You don't, you don't know. I mean you don't know. This might have failed. You, you have no idea. I mean, what was the one we watched the other day? Oh, God. What was the one that was down big the other day that I didn't really like, but it was on the watch, and then it flipped? It was yesterday. No, it was two days ago. What was the other one? What was the other one? Shoot. Can't even think of it. OSTK, let's look at that. Man, this is absolutely taken a dive. I mean, off the planet Earth. And actually, somebody, this was only last year, said, oh my God, this you have to take a look at this, Melissa. It looks so good. It looks really good. It looks really good. It looks amazing. And at the point that they said that, the stock was here. And I didn't, I was like, uh. And then look where it went. Anyways, Morali, what you said was really nice. Um, AVAV, was that it? Morali, are you listening? Morali, are you there? Morali, Morali gave me a compliment and said he's been around following a few other people like me who do gaps. Not to butter you up. Too late for that, Morali. <laughs> Not to better you up, but you're far ahead of the game. What you say in the first few minutes every morning is pretty much set in stone. They say those things either in the middle of the day or when they make a video talk about what happened during the day. That's right. But honestly, the, my uh, intuition, I guess you want to call it, in the pre-market is like so good. It's like everything coming together. Even before the open, like full on. Like it's, uh, it's just, that is like, it's, it's my intuition, it's the system, it's experience, it's like all of it. Really, really good. And I called no longs in the market yesterday even though we gapped up. And I have not called any longs here in the market right now even though we gapped up. 
And, you know, I explained in the webinar last night why I feel that we're heavy. Galahad disagreed in everything I said, but I'm not going to give him a hard time today because he's been making money and doing well lately. But, um, you know, you just don't have the institutions here supporting the market right now. So even though you're seeing these gap ups, I do not, you know, I have no interest in them whatsoever. You just made $150 on shop. I thought you were getting off this thing. <laughs> oh my Lantia. All right, let's check out our favorite stock, Disney. And then any other questions? And if not, I'll everybody go. Didi, did you make money today? You should have. Alfredo, you wrote a really cute note on Facebook. Thank you. Yeah, Disney. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'll have to look at this harder today or by tomorrow. Any questions? JD made money in CAG and everyone should have made money in CAG. It depends really how fast you hit this. If you waited for 90, your fill was bad. But remember I said then take it at 99 and then it broke and then it really broke. And even when I said 99, if you had hit it then, it broke past 99, but it was still in the 90s. But anyways, if you waited for 90, you got a horrible fill. So again, hotkeys rule the day in things like this. And this was very whippy and wild in here. Unfortunately, it opened late. This kind of was a bugaboo. We've seen that a lot lately. Seen that quite a lot lately. I did see the article on Disney, but I didn't read it yet, Jackie. But I did see what you sent me. Did anyone watch the Democratic debate? I was flipping back and forth. I didn't watch the whole thing like full on. <laughs> I call my mother. She's like, I, I can't even watch it at all. I can't even watch five minutes of it. I just can't believe how far left the Democratic Party has gone. It's like not even the Democratic Party. I don't even know why they're calling themselves the Democratic Party anymore. They should just come up with a new name and then have a different party called the Democratic Party and then whatever they want to call it, the Socialist Party. I mean, they have the Democratic Party has gone so far off the rails. It's not the Democratic Party anymore. It's like when they want to tax everybody at 70% tax rate. I mean, the, the things that they were saying were so far off the rails. You're like, what am, this is what? I mean, it was like so, they have gone so far off the rails that that's exactly why Trump will get reelected and whether people like Trump or not. I mean, basically they are helping Trump get reelected because they've gone so far past normalcy that they are completely off the rails. <laughs> it's like, what? Abortion for everyone. Well, that's a that's a religious issue that I just I don't want to get in discussion about abortion. I think that's real more religion based. But the the taxing situation is so far off the rails. <laughs> to think of taxing people at seventy percent, what? Um, you're still talking about the CAG. You mean you want to do the CAG again here? It's hysterical, too, that de Blasio is on that stage. There's no one in New York and Manhattan that wants him to be even the mayor. 8% uh, of the population voted for him. No one here can stand him at all. It's He's a total, total joke to even be in that stage. I mean, the things that he says, talk about off the rails. He's like, like in the Atlantic Ocean, like, I mean, with the things that he says, he's like, <laughs> on top of that, he thinks everyone loves him. <laughs> this couldn't be farther from the truth. If you want to do this again, you can do it right here. You could squish one in and put the stop at 2665 right here if you want to do it for a little scalpy poo, 40 cents if you feel so inclined. If you really think it's going to break 26, I'm going to pass. I think it was a good morning. I was perfect, but Five minutes setting up. You can do it right here. Stop 65. Tight, tight, tight. It's got to go right back down again if it's going to. And I'll be in and out quick. Oh, you know what? I have stopped watching SNL. But I should start DVRing it. But they bash Trump so much, I just can't, can't watch it anymore. 
But I'm sure they'll do something funny about the, I guess there was some kind of flood with the microphone. I didn't really hear that whole thing. The free college tuition to everyone too. I mean, are you serious? It's like, <sighs> anyways, there's another one tonight. I'll have to flip in between. I need to keep up with these things for Fox News to see what's going on. But it is quite interesting. Um, your 19 year old son was laughing the debates. Well, it's good for him to be informed. At least he's interested. The rich will find somewhere else to leave their money. Yeah. You personally think there's no match to challenge Trump yet? That's probably true. Here goes the kag. Is anyone back in this thing? Again, I'm passing, but it's definitely breaking down again. Jackie did it. She's swinging for the fences. All right, what else do we have to talk about? Oh, Jaro did CAG. Jaro, since we're doing an uh, open house, you want to talk? Tell people who you are? You talk about your wife. You can talk about your girlfriend. <laughs> you can talk about both. <laughs> do you have a mic with you today? I know you're shy. You can talk for a minute if you want. Gyro has the opposite personality of me, and yet we're very similar. <laughs> I'm an extrovert and he's an introvert, but yet again, if you know him, he's really not an introvert. So, similar but different. Do you have your mic with you? Looks like they seem to think they have to go on full on social to get the party nomination. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Here, I'm going to get off. Okay, so I'm out of hiding. Um, yes, I am sort of the opposite of Melissa in <laughs> a number of ways. <laughs> However, um, let's see, I've been trading the system for quite some time, and uh, Melissa's gap analysis kind of rules what I do, even though I do some longer time frames. Um, as far as longer time frames and some other, even some scalping that I do on my own, uh, it gets driven by uh, the gap stuff as well. So, um, <clears throat> you know, this morning I've just been playing CAG at the open. And that is going okay. Um, but what else have I, you know, I was scalping beyond yesterday a little bit. Um, and this morning, I've been keeping an eye on Apple. Um, what else have I been watching? I took a little scalp out of Netflix, but that's not the regular play. But anyway. Um, I am still just maintaining my list. I don't think, I don't, I'm trying not to keep a tremendous bias in the, in the very near term as to what's going on at this point. Um, as far as the market goes, you see I draw lots of lines here on my charts um, with levels. And so the first thing I look at is we're just inside yesterday's range. What matters to me now is that there was a little gap here in the SPY. Um, what? 17th to the 18th, whatever that is. And <clears throat> the, you know, if we get below that gap, I really want to take notice. So it's kind of important if the market wants to stay afloat for me, um, it's kind of important that we don't go below that. Uh, what is that level exactly? 22? Oh, about 2290, 22. So that's what's on my mind. And obviously the old highs that we broke are right up here. So, you know, moment by moment, I'm just swimming. Um, I've been keeping a lot of cash. 
and um, I've been scalping more than I normally would. Um, but again, the analysis that goes into the scalps is based on the system. I'll only scalp long things that are strong gappers and vice versa. So with that, I'll pass it back. Hello there. So you were looking at the market here. Let me look at what you were looking at for this area. Well, I mean, technically we did break that area. Technically, technically we did. Last night we were down. So, I mean, th to me, this looks like we're hanging on by a thread. Look at this here. We can't hold up this, this even now. All right, any quick questions from anyone about anything at all? Any quick questions? Great trade today in CAG. We will be watching tomorrow morning. Actually, tonight I'll be watching Nike, see what it does. It's either going to be a long or a short, or it's going to be nothing. Three choices. Do nothing, go long, go short. <laughs> any questions from anyone? Great job, everybody. Fabulous day. Want to come back from the open house tomorrow? You can. If you're interested in the options letter, email me. If you're interested in the class, email me. Next class is July 13th and 14th. No password on tomorrow either. Room closed next week for the holiday, yes. I think the market will be absolutely dead. Some people have bought the whole week. Some people are taking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Some people are taking Thursday, Friday. Market's closed Thursday and I think a half day Friday. It's, I mean, people are going to leave Wednesday. I don't think anyone's going to be working Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Like, if anybody's in the office, it'll be Monday and Tuesday, and Mondays are normally slow, so it's like, do you know what I mean? I would just, like, stay away. The only thing there might be options trades next week in the market, and why do I say that? Because of the summit and President Trump meeting with President C. So, based on that, we could have some significant market movement. You know what I'm saying? But I won't know till I see it. I won't know till I see it. Okay. Try to get out as many things as you can profitable though by today or tomorrow is my suggestion if you didn't get out of stuff Tuesday or Wednesday. But we are gonna have a very wild July. You figure the trying to trade stuff in the market the Mueller's going to testify that's July 17th so that's right then when we get back and then that week of earnings starting so I mean July is going to be big big meaning big for volatility which means we're going to have a lot of trades we're going to have a lot of swings swings are good you just have to play them in the right direction which we did today all right good job everyone have a great day beautiful day in New York have a fabulous day email me your questions and I'll see you tomorrow